I guess I want to read about all the lyrics on Floating Down the River mm. because I, I guess I love that song when it's about turning your life around and letting go of past. Yeah, stuff. I just, I don't know. And I, I, I'm really psyched about that song. I thought that was going to be the opener, but then it turned out to be the closer. And I think it makes sense. Um, but I just sort of liked that phrase because it, I don't know, for some reason, I feel like floating down the river is similar to like swim with the fishes or something. You know, like it just sounds like a, it sounds like some sort of saying, mm-hmm. maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But the idea of um, rebirth or even death, like no matter how you want to look at it, there's so many things. It's like, okay, eventually we're going to die. So why not just, you know, a lot of the songs on that album, I think, are like that, about just embracing the moment. And no matter what happens, like whether, you know, the worst case scenario happens or the best case scenario, like, I think the point of everything is to just be present and aware and enjoy the life that you have, however you can. What's a great lyric for me is after I'm attempting to change after years of destruction, don't be alarmed, blah, 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 but I'm excited (laughs) these days, it's the strangest sensation. Mm -hmm. That is so perfect, right? Because when you do turn your life around, it's like, wow, this really is the new me or at least it's a new part of me that i'm realizing you know yeah and it's just so strange that like i i didn't i don't know being so close to the destruction and the chaos and all of that you just you are unable to be aware of anything but that and i just i wish for so many people that you know are in like whether it's you know self-harm or any sort of thing where they just can't see an out it's time is the one thing that is both crushing them and the one thing that can be their best friend if they can just allow themselves enough time to get out of that feeling to be able to look at it from a different angle or a different point of view it's just we and i don't know i'm not very good or eloquent at like trying to explain how that is but well i think uh, you're saying it eloquently with I only wish I were younger so I would have more time to explore. And you say right to me or to everybody, right? Do you feel mm-hmm. the same? Well, and I feel like I'm fortunate because I am, I was only, you know, I guess in my early 30s when I not really figured it out, but I, I had, you know, some sort of moment of clarity. And, you know, had I been in my 40s or my 50s or my 60s, I think that that would have been a lot worse. Uh, it would have been a lot cooler if I had it figured out as a teenager. But, you know, uh, and I'm one of the lucky ones. I got out. You know, mm. I love that, dude. I love that. Every time we talk, man, I just love it. And I appreciate you spitting, I think, real truth and the center of your chest into this microphone. Cool. So, well, thank you, man. Always.